What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about the Leprechaun franchise in this video. Hasn't been a time that I've gotten to talk about this franchise in quite a while. But recently Bloody Disgusting had a report today that their uh, sources indicate that Lionsgate is actively seeking out pitches for the next Leprechaun movie. So you can expect to hear more from the mischievous horror icon soon. And they say they will report more as soon as we learn it. So there's been no like actual official anything announced. There's been no official title. There's nobody announced to be actually involved. No writer announced. No director. No word on if Warwick Davis, who I know a lot of you want him back, will be returning. But they did mention and highlight that Derek or Darren Lynn Bosman, who we know is active with the Saw franchise. He also recently did Spiral from the Book of Saw. He had been publicly asking Lionsgate to let him tackle a new installment in that horror comedy Leprechaun franchise for over 10 years. And he did talk about his vision in a chat with Bloody Disgusting for starters, where he did mention that he would definitely bring Warwick Davis back or Warwick Davis back. He said he would make a more direct sequel to the Leprechaun franchise. It would not be a reboot. He does not want to do that. I would demand that Warwick Davis come back. I wouldn't do it without him. And I would not try to change the tone. I would make it equally as bat bat shit bonkers crazy it would be between the first film and back to the hood it would be somewhere in that tonal frame it got really ridiculous as they went on but that ridiculousness is what made them fun so we know at this point in time there's eight leprechaun movies there's eight now setting a movie in between back to the hood and the original okay i mean that's that's fine to me off of the basis that these movies themselves i don't take them that serious and i don't think this movie would be any different if he really if he were to be the person who who does this I don't know what actually he detailed would be doing, but if it's between the first one and Back to the Hood, I think many people would be on board with it uh, only because of the fact that the series in and of itself is ridiculous. Sure, you could do a sequel to Back to the Hood, but I don't, I don't know if I really want too many more movies that are in the hood at this point. Also, if if it's a sequel to Back to the Hood and it's still in the hood, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I want to go Back to the Hood again. If it can be a sequel to Back to the Hood without being in the hood, that's all I'm saying. Because uh, none of these movies are act like movies that I say, "Oh my gosh, you have to sit down and watch this. This is so amazing." This is just like pure camp. Warwick is amazing in the role. Don't get me wrong, and I love these franchises. I love this franchise, but these movies, I don't think anyone would go out of the way to say, you know, these are Oscar-worthy films. <laughs> uh, and I, the last one I think premiered on Sci-Fi. So having Warwick back in the role, he does an amazing job every time. He is like the best part about those movies no doubt about it so having him back i know there was a time where he stated he did not want to do certain movies like this because of his son he's he stated that he would change his mind or start to reconsider it once his son turned 18 good news is that his son is 18 now probably much older than that at this point prior to a few years ago in 2018 when he made those comments so his son is of a decent age now but that doesn't mean that he necessarily wants to do these movies again but I think it would be amazing to have Warwick Davis back in the role as Leprechaun once again. See him in a different time period. Maybe they could explore one of those versus movies. I know a lot of people would love to see Leprechaun versus Chucky. I just got to throw that out there. Leprechaun versus Chucky on paper. While I think that sounds amazing to the inner child in me that loves those two icons, the characters themselves, one has such a advantage over the other one. It's not even going to be reasonable unless you write it a certain way where leprechaun has lost his powers if leprechaun has not lost his powers he has no reason losing to chucky we've seen him literally blow someone's stomach up we've seen, seen him make someone pop we've seen him do a lot of things we've seen this thing make someone pull a gun up and shoot themselves in the head so i mean come on now losing against chucky you'd have to have something in the narrative where he lost his powers <laughs> because that that alone wouldn't even be a long fight but i don't know what they necessarily would explore if we don't get that get that idea from Bowsman. uh but i would love to see what he had in store because he seems like he's been dying to get his hands on this property i would love to see warwick back i know people would love to also see jennifer aniston back for whatever reason i'm not saying i'm against it but she i don't think she's done many of the horror movies outside of leprechaun so if she's if she would like to come back because i know they brought the actor back who played ozzy in leprechaun returns so if they wanted to revisit that dynamic and have jennifer aniston back for a leprechaun movie i'm not saying don't do that. that that would be cool if you come up with a unique concept bring her back bring warwick back bring some other familiar faces back from the original film i'm all for it uh 
a movie that's after Back to the Hood, what that could look like again, I don't know. It's been so long since we had a Warwick centered film. I think the last one was 2003. I was like five, six years old at the time. That movie went straight to VOD. I remember I used to rent it from Blockbuster all the time. But after that, you know, the Lepre Leprechaun series was dormant. And I can honestly say, despite us getting two more movies after that, you know, the Warwick era was the best era. And we haven't had a Leprechaun movie, in my opinion, that's actually gotten me excited since Back to the Hood. And again, I was like five or six. So it's it's kind of nice just to be at a young, a young adult age having all these horror icons that you enjoyed watching growing up get these new entries so i would love to see something with warwick involved and in the makeup once again i'm already still heartbroken about the fact that jonathan brick isn't back as the creeper i'm still going to give jaru benjamin a chance but you know it's always a pleasure to get those horror icons that gave you those nightmares and gave you those thrills and those moments of laughter like warwick did in that role as the leprechaun or other characters and other actors that brought these iconic characters to life see them come back and put the makeup back on and dive back into it after so much time has passed and see that they still can knock it out of the park i'm interested to see how the makeup will be updated in any capacity because i'm sure they'll still try to mirror what he looked like originally but then do a updated spin on it but even still if the movie were to be done by bozeman and he gives us his idea in between back to the hood and the first one but i think there might be some pushback honestly from the studio and he probably might not go with that idea and do something else completely where he sets it after back to the hood but the the franchise itself again is so ridiculous the narratives and the sequels so so absurd so turn your brain off and just enjoy it for what it is these again are not oscar worthy films no one's gonna go into a leprechaun movie expecting an 8 out of 10 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 movie you're going in there to turn your brain off sit down watch some good kills and hopefully laugh along the way if it's something that's at least funny and able to hold your attention at the absurdity of it all <laughs> but i can't wait to see what comes of this news that we got today let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below what is your favorite film from the leprechaun franchise what do you think about this do you want warwick davis back in the makeup let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course so let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video